Education in Chile is divided in preschool, primary school, secondary school, and technical or higher education. Levels of education. The levels of education in Chile are preschool, for children up to 5 years old, primary school, for children aged 6 to 13 years old, divided into 8 grades, secondary school, for teenagers aged 14 to 17 years old, divided into 4 grades. Schools are divided by curriculum into scientific humanities, geared to prepare students to enter university. From 11th grade, students can choose a subject in either science or humanities for more advanced lessons. Technical professional, designed to allow students to quickly enter the workforce after secondary education. Students are taught practical lessons in technical areas, such as electricity, mechanics, metal assembly, etc. Higher education, university. These are divided between traditional universities before the 1981 reform and private institutions. Professional institute. Private institutions offering professional degrees, except for those given exclusively by universities. They were created in 1981. Technical Schooling Center, also created in 1981, they are private institutions offering technical degrees only. Preschool, levels, Sala Cuna Mena, children between 85 days of age to 1 year of age. Sala Cuna Mare, children between 1 to 2 years of age. Nivel Medio Mena, children between 2 to 3 years of age. Nivel Medio Mare, children between 3 to 4 years of age. Prima Nivel Transition or Pre-Kinder, children between 4 to 5 years of age. Segundo Nivel de Transition or Kinder, children between 5 to 6 years of age. The law establishes free access to the last two levels of preschool. A constitutional reform in 2013 called for the law to extend free access to four levels, and make the last one mandatory and a prerequisite to enter primary school. The coverage for preschool in 2009 was 37.42% and 44.96%. Primary and secondary education. The law makes primary and secondary school mandatory for all Chileans. The Chilean state provides an extensive system of education vouchers that covers about 93% of primary and secondary students. The system is based on a direct payment to the schools based on daily attendance. Schools are either public or private, which may receive government subsidies. Private schools may be organized as either for or non-profit. In order to receive public funding, private schools must reserve 15% of seats in each class to students classified as vulnerable. Schools receive extra funding for each vulnerable student they enroll. Primary The 1965 reform established primary education as the initial cycle of schooling. Before that, by 1920, Chilean legislation had established four years of minimum mandatory education. By 1929 the minimum had been increased to six years. In 1965 primary education was extended to eight grades, ideally designed for ages 6 to 13. Secondary Secondary education is divided between scientific humanist, technical professional and artistic, all lasting four years. The first two years are the same for the three kinds of schooling, while the third and fourth years are differentiated according to the orientation of the school. The schools offering technical professional programs are denominated industrial schools, electricity, mechanics, electronics, informatics, among others, commercial schools, management, accountancy, secretary and similar, technical schools fashion, culinary, nursery and the like, polyvalent schools, offering careers of more than one of those listed above. Most of the students choosing the vocational branch come from disadvantaged socio-economic background. Private school with subscribing fees gathers less than 1% of the students. 
Compulsory education only covered the eight years of primary school, but in 2003 a constitutional reform established in principle free and compulsory secondary education for all Chileans up to 21 years of age. This ensured 12 years of compulsory schooling, which was an unprecedented milestone in Latin America at the time. Coverage The net enrollment ratio in 2009 was 93.19% in primary, and 70.70% in secondary. While the gross enrollment ratio was 106.24% in primary, and 94.68% in secondary. Cost voluntary tuition public schools and subsidized private schools may charge a fee for the selection process, an annual price of enrollment and a monthly tuition fee, which is voluntary for the parent. Enrollment and tuition fees are forbidden in pre-primary and primary school in these institutions. A fee to the so-called parents' center is voluntary and cannot be higher than 0.5 UTM a year, which was CLP $19,143 in 2011. Mandatory tuition public schools and subsidized private schools have the same selection and annual enrollment costs as in schools with voluntary tuition but they are allowed to charge a mandatory monthly tuition, which cannot be higher than for use. This was equal to CLP $72,763 in 2011 in both primary and secondary school. A parent's center fee is the same as in schools with voluntary tuition. Non-subsidized private schools are free to set the price, which may include enrollment and tuition costs as well as a fee for applying to the school and one for being admitted to the school. There may be other payments, such as to the parent center or for school materials, which may be included as part of the tuition fee. There is a third type of public school, the so-called delegated administration schools, which are owned by the state but managed and financed by private corporations. These cannot charge a selection fee. The annual enrollment cost is voluntary and the same as in schools with voluntary tuition. They are allowed to charge for tuition, but it is up to the parent to decide how much to pay. The maximum cost is 1.5 UTM annually, which was CLP $57,430 in 2011. A parent's center fee is voluntary. There is a fourth type of public school, administered by the Ministry of Education and completely financed by the state. Currently, there is only one such school, Escuela Villa Las Estrellas in Antarctica. Higher Education Admission university students can choose between 16 public universities and 44 private ones. All public universities and 17 private ones use a single admission system called PSU. Designed and evaluated by the University of Chile, and consisting of two mandatory exams, one in mathematics and one in language. There are also two additional specific exams, sciences and history, which may be required by some undergraduate programs. The cumulative grade point average achieved during secondary school is also taken into account in the final admission score, as well as the student's relative position in his class and two previous promotions. Every university assigns different weightings to the results of the various exams for the various programs offered. Some universities may require additional tests or personal interviews for admission to some programs. In 2014, a total of 247,291 persons took both mandatory PSU tests, IPs and CFTs. Professional institutes and technical schooling centers require a secondary education license only for admission. Coverage The net enrollment ratio in 2009 was 28.88%, while the gross enrollment ratio was 38.73% costs all universities, institutes and technical schools in Chile charge enrollment and tuition costs. There are, however, several government scholarship programs granted to students based on merit or need. 
socio-economically disadvantaged students from any type of officially recognized educational institution may seek loans through private banks with the state acting as guarantee. There are also loan programs offered by the government exclusively to socio-economically disadvantaged students of traditional universities. These loans, private and public, have a fixed interest rate of 2% and must be paid back by the student after graduation. For CHI loans, the payment is equal to 10% of the former student's annual wage, and 5% for FSCU loans. The debt is written off after 15 years for CHI loans, and 12 for FSCU loans. Most scholarships and loan programs offered by the government only cover a reference annual tuition cost calculated by the government for each program. The gap between the reference and the real tuition cost can be substantial at some private educational institutions. Students are required to maintain a certain level of academic achievement to keep the benefit, which may vary from institution to institution. There are also government-funded programs giving students a monthly stipend, a debit card to buy food, and a student card to pay for cheaper transportation. All programs are based on merit, need, indigenous background or geographical residence. In 2012, 947,063 students were enrolled in tertiary education programs. Of these, 548,119 received either scholarships or loans by the government. Of the totality of programs awarded during 2012, scholarships represented 35% and loans 65%. School year. The school year is divided into semesters. The first semester runs from the end of February or early March to July. Following a two-week winter break, school resumes and lasts until late November or early December, followed by summer vacations. The dates are set by the Ministry of Education in each region. For example, in 2014 the start of classes is March 5th for regular students in the Santiago metropolitan region. A winter break runs from 14 to the 25th of July, with the second semester starting the 28th of July. Classes end either 5, 12 or the 19th of December. Depending on the duration of the program in weeks, students graduating from high school end classes on the 14th of November giving them time to prepare the university admission test. Education reform. Chile as of 2014, update, is undergoing a significant reform to its publicly funded education system. One of the first proposals sent to Congress include the banning of mandatory co-payments, the removal of existing selection processes and the conversion of for-profit schools into non-profit organizations. Another proposal is to provide free tertiary education to students in the poorest 60% of the population. This would apply to students of traditional universities and of accredited and non-profit technical schooling centers and professional institutes.